Moving on, you started your email with the, let's say, hi, John. What happens next? This question bugs a lot of people. Many people ask me, what should I say? How are you? What can I say instead of how are you? And everybody's really concerned, what should go next? Frankly, uh, how are you is not really appropriate for emailing. Um, when we're talking about IT emailing, right? Uh, I mean, work emails. Why would you say, how are you? This is not a spoken English. But definitely you have to say something to make your email more professional. And uh, definitely you want to show that you know the, the true style of communication. So you have to say something. I would say this, is, this would be called re reaching out to people. You want to know, for example, um, on Monday morning, you want to know, um, so you can say something like, I hope you had a great weekend. Or if you want to be more neutral, there is a very cool phrase that I love using. I hope this message finds you well. You can also say something like, I hope you are well, or I hope you're doing great. And then you move on to the main subject of your email. But I would say that this phrase is quite important. It shows that you are aware and you are comfortable with your writing. One more thing I would like to mention here. Do not be worried about using different phrases. Those are just cliche phrases. It doesn't mean that you have to have 20 different phrases for this, for this particular occasion. So you can say, I hope this message finds you well, and you can use it in uh, all of your emails. Of course, if you are writing like a fifth, fourth, or even second email to the same person, you don't say this phrase. It's, uh, it's only appropriate when you just write your first email to this person. But again, uh, the next day, you can repeat the phrase. Nobody's expecting you to be very creative and come up with your own phrases for each email you write on a daily basis. You reached out to your recipient. Now, what happens? You have to get down to business. Remember, you have to write why you're writing this email. And then you have to give details of what's going to happen or ask your questions, what you want, etc. In the end, uh, you have to specify what you want the person to do now. For example, you're suggesting something, you need some information, you want a reply back, anything, depending on, on why you're writing this email. That's going to be a main part, the body of your email. And here, like I said, for IT emailing, you don't have to worry about very long, complex sentences. You can use shorter sentences, you can use active voice, you can use simple, simple tenses, um, you can use uh, phrasal verbs, uh, uh, you can even use idioms, yeah? However, be careful, you don't want to use bad words or you don't, you, you don't want to go overboard with some super um, street-like idioms, right? Like very, very slangish. Once you have described the reason of your email, you need to close appropriately. Um, and here I have encountered many, many times uh, people use waiting for your reply. Uh, the phrase waiting for your reply is uh, grammatically correct, but I would say for email it's not appropriate. I will explain you why. When you say I'm waiting for your reply, basically you are sitting there and waiting. Uh, let's say this phrase would be appropriate if you uh, send an email before and the person never responded. And now you write in the second email and you want to maybe show that you're a little bit upset about the fact. So you say, I'm still waiting for your response, right? I'm still waiting for your reply. However, if this is your first email to a person and you just want to uh, show that you are polite and you want to close your email appropriately, you should use a phrase looking forward to hearing from you or looking forward to your reply. Depends what you want, what you want to use here. So phrase looking forward to, this is the cliche phrase for closing your email. To here is not a particle of infinitive, uh, but it's just a preposition. So after the whole phrase, look forward to, we should use ing form if we use the verb. For example, look forward to hearing from you. But if you want to use just a noun, you can say, look forward to uh, your re reply. Look forward to is not the only phrase that we can use to close our emails. You can say something like, if you need more information, do not hesitate to contact me. 
I really like the phrase, should you need more information, uh, do not hesitate to contact me. It's really interesting turn of speech when you use should in the beginning of the sentence. However, this is not a question. And this is perfect for this type of emails. And this is perfect for this type of style. If I were you, I would just memorize the phrase and use it uh, in my emails on a daily basis. So you would say, should you uh, need any more information, uh, do not hesitate to contact me. Really, opening and closing lines can be different depending on why you're writing this email, yeah, depending on the subject. If you would like me to give you some advice, I will be happy to chat with you and help you with your emails. 